viewers welcome to zb tech this is dr gayatri i'm back with you with the topic on photoelectric effect in our previous lecture we have seen about the definition of photoelectric effect and also we have discussed the experiment with it now here we are going to learn about few important parameters that are included with this photoelectric effect and the loss of photoelectric effect so before going further we will simply recall with the definition on photoelectric effect wherein we have been saying that on a metal surface if you have here an enough amount of radiation to be incident electrons are ejected from the surface of the metal ejected from surface of the metal when a frequency of radiation is incident here based upon the radiation frequency you have electrons to be emitted from the surface this phenomena we termed it as photoelectric effect electric whatever electrons are ejected from the surface of the metal are termed as photoelectrons i repeat whenever you are having emission of electrons to be taking place from the surface of the metal the emitted electrons are termed as photoelectrons the second one it's not that all the frequency of radiation we have the electron emission there is certain frequency called as threshold frequency only from this particular frequency emission of electrons is possible below this frequency we do not have ejection of electrons that means whenever we have sufficient amount of energy i said when uh, when the energy which is incident on it here to the metal surface is having the ability to give out then only we have electron to be ejected so that minimum frequency we are certain calling it as threshold frequency below this threshold frequency we do not have any photoelectric effect to be observed now here we said the electrons to be called as photoelectrons and the current which is produced here due to this photo electrons is called as photo current or i say photoelectric current photoelectric current that means the current that is produced by these photoelectrons that is the moment of these electrons is simply termed as photoelectric current and this threshold frequency is not the same for all the metals of course we will learn about it in detail with your characteristics of photoelectric the next comes with stopping potential so when a, a you are having here a potential at which photoelectric current becomes zero and this happens at certain negative potential that negative potential is termed as stopping potential you are having a negative potential at which your photoelectric current becomes zero so this is the voltage at a particular voltage we have here electrons to be coming out and moving this is your voltage versus current but at a certain potential called as negative potential that is your stopping potential more in technical words electrons are ejected this negative potential where you are having the photo current to be equal to zero this if you look at this is the point at which you are having your photo current to be zero this is simply termed as stopping potential next comes here threshold energy we already defined threshold frequency the minimum frequency that is required here energy corresponding to the threshold frequency is your threshold energy we simply said that at a frequency we have photoelectric emission to be taking place so that frequency we call it as 
threshold frequency. The energy corresponding to this threshold frequency is a threshold energy. Okay. Uh, then the next one we have very important already we have learned uh, in the last lecture this term that is your work function. So this is the minimum amount of energy. Work function is the minimum amount of energy which is necessary for having this photoelectric effect to come into action. That is you are having here whenever energy to be instant, when a sufficient amount of energy to be instant onto the surface here, we are having electrons to be ejected out. That minimum energy is termed as work function. So we had here the equation as this is the amount of energy that has been incident out of which this is the minimum amount of energy that has been taken in to produce electrons and these electrons were possessing an energy of half mv square that is kinetic energy. If you are having this energy h mu, if energy h mu is less than this work function, we do not have emission of photoelectrons, we will not give photoelectrons. That is, you will not have emission of photoelectrons. He is not possible. He is not possible. And this work function or the minimum energy which is required at the, uh, which is required or need to be possessed so that a photon have to dislodge uh, from the metal surface without imparting any kinetic energy means I can say simply that in such a case H mu will be equal to W mu. If it happens without transferring any amount of energy for the electrons without imparting uh, kinetic energy for the electrons in such a case my energy will be simply work function that minimum energy will become work function so that's why we say the minimum frequency that is the threshold frequency is simply your w naught by h so these are the some important terms that we need to learn by learning the topic on photoelectric effect now let's move on with the characteristics of photoelectric effect. So let's have a look over characteristics. So first one I would like to talk about intensity, effect of intensity. So if I move on with your intensity effect, you are saying here photoelectric effect takes place when a frequency is incident. So depending upon the intensity of radiation. So what do you mean by this intensity of radiation or intensity of light? Within uh, a given region per a unit area, how much ever amount of light is incident? In a unit area, the amount of light that has been incident per second is called intensity. Uh, this is the region that you have selected and this unit area that you have selected a radiation is instant. So how much radiation has been instant for this region that you selected in a period of one second that is simply called as intensity. So if you increase the intensity of radiation, what I say intensity of radiation has been increased then you are having intensity of light to be increased. In such a case, I have photo current to be increased. That means the electrons which are ejected from the metal surface are being increased. Photo current increases. And if I decrease the intensity, it decreases my photoelectric current. However, stopping potential the negative potential at which photo current becomes zero will not change 
it remains same. This is the first uh, characteristic I can say intensity. Going for the next. This is your effect of frequency. So already we have seen about uh, free minimum frequency called as threshold frequency corresponding energy as a threshold energy. So now if you are having intensity of incident light, you are saying here light is incident onto the metal surface. So if the intensity of this light, you are fixing it up, you are putting it as constant, is constant. So at this particular constant uh, or a fixed light intensity, you are increasing frequency. Then there will be no change in photo current. That means my photo current remains constant. What does it conclude? Photo current remains constant. It is the same. What does it mean? It means that you are having, uh, there is no change with your current that is passing through. That means the number of electrons which are being emitted will not change. However, your stopping potential increases. So, observe the difference here. Here I am having intensity of radiation to be increased. Then my stopping potential was remaining same. Now, intensity is maintained constant, but my frequency is increased. My frequency has been increased. Since the frequency is increased, I have my stopping potential to be increasing. So, don't get confused between these two points. Here, when I have intensity of radiation to be increased, my photo current also increases. And when intensity decreases, photo current decreases. However, stopping potential will remain the same. But here what is happening? When I increase the frequency of radiation, photo current remains constant. Photo current will not change. Who changes? Stopping potential will be changing. This part of stopping potential will be increasing. So now next move on for the third one. Photometer. We said that radiation is incident on uh, a metal surface. So, the metal surface which gives out the electrons from its surface is called photometal. The metal surface from which we have this photoelectric effect to be taking place to be turned as photometal. The, whenever you are having the frequency or the uh, intensity of the radiation that you have taken to be fixed, for, but you are having the photometal to be changed, then you are having the threshold frequencies to be differing. These threshold frequencies will not remain same for all the metals. They change. Threshold frequency is not the same for all the metals. It changes from one metal to one metal. For example, aluminium, if you choose, it has a threshold frequency, say it has some new one. However, when I go for zinc, it has some other threshold frequency which is given with your mu2. Like this, uh, depending upon the metal surface, your threshold frequency will be changing because all the metals doesn't require the same amount of energy. It changes from metal to metal. So, the other characteristic is effect of time. To have this uh, photoelectric emission, it doesn't require much time difference here. Once the radiation is incident, the sufficient amount of radiation is incident, su sufficient amount of radiation when it has been obtained there, electrons are immediately ejected. So, you will not have any time difference between the emission of electrons and uh, your incident light. So, I can say here, there is no time lag. Between whom? Between the incident radiation and the emission of electron. These are the characteristics of photoelectric effect. So, let us have a look about the important terms that we have with the photoelectric effect. The first one we are saying is photoelectrons. So, during this photoelectric effect, we are having electrons to be ejected from metal surface. They, we are calling them as 
photoelectrons and the current from this photoelectron is termed as photoelectric current so when the radiation is instant at a certain frequency the electrons are emitted from it the corresponding frequency at which you are having photoelectric effect to be possible is called threshold frequency and that corresponding energy is your threshold energy so the minimum energy which is required to remove the electron from the metal surface is your work function so if h mu is the amount of energy that has been incident w not is the amount of energy that has been captured here to remove the electron and half mv square is the electrons that is possessed by the electrons from the metal surface so whenever you are having this h mu to be less than you are w not you will not have photoelectric effect to be possible it will be possible only for h mu equal to w not or greater than w not so you are having here a particular frequency at which you are having photoelectric effect to be taking place that photoelectric effect uh, that thresh frequency to be termed as threshold frequency w mu not which is given in terms of work function as w not by h these are the few important parameters that we need to learn while going through photoelectric effect so don't forget with this term stopping potential what is this that is the negative potential at which your photo current is becoming equal to zero my photo current is zero at this position so this is your stopping potential now if i look at the characteristics here the first one we are having in our characteristics to be effect of intensity so what is your effect of intensity here when i talk with your intensity i am having here certain amount of radiation to be incident onto the surface of the metal so in a given unit area in one second how much ever amount of radiation has been incident that is your in how much amount of radiation has been falling onto that surface that is your intensity so if you increase the intensity of radiation my photo current also increases if i decrease the intensity photo current decreases but remember my stopping potential there is no change it remains constant now if i look for your frequency it's quite uh, opposite i can say here when in uh, radiation is instant here put that intensity of radiation as constant in such a case if you are increasing the frequency of radiation energy of the radiation here the photo current will not uh, change it remains constant who changes stopping potential the potential where photo current becomes zero will be changing okay the next you have photo metal so the uh, metal surface from which we have the electrons to be ejected is photo metal as we know now this threshold frequency will not remain same for all the metals it changes from metal to metal so this is how we have here photo metal next comes with your last one effect of time so when i say here effect of time between the radiation that has been incident on the surface and the emission of electrons there will be no time gap as soon as the radiation the sufficient amount of radiation is incident electrons start emitting out ejecting out the, that means you do not have any time lag hope you found this video to be simple for your last minute preparation too so have the parameters of photoelectric effect and also the characteristics of photoelectric effect to this chapter like share and subscribe to easy btech thank you